All right, what's going on YouTube? This is Hamlet House coming back at you with a, another review, another gun review. What we have today here in front of you, just uh, simply laid out, is my simple takedown tool, uh, cleaning kit with all my goodies in it, some white lithium grease I picked up from Home Depot, AP brush, uh, aluminum cylinder of some kind for the ass and the suppressor, not sure again what it's called, and uh, five baffles here. I have the register receiver uh, steel housing tube with both end caps. This end right here has the uh, the threads. This is where the barrel goes right here, uh, male and female end, and uh, this is the, the the front ass cap, so to speak. With this takedown tool, all you got to do is match up the male and female ports here in the tube, like so. If you can see that in the video, you lock it and you just crank away. Uh, standard American uh, Western threads, it's not reversed like the uh, the Russian stuff is. And I went ahead for simplicity reasons as I took this down because sometimes the baffles are a little hard to get out of the tube. One thing I definitely like about this, this suppressor, uh, this is uh, the Burp Corp 9mm suppressor STG model. Um, this is full auto rated for 9mm. So I use this suppressor on my full auto 9mm uh, rounds so that way obviously you don't melt aluminum, you deal with steel. You have a lot more tolerance and a lot more use out of uh, items of this nature because you don't ever want to obviously melt your suppressor. <clears throat> Excuse me guys. With that being said, is uh, I want to take some time out of the day right now to comment on the uh, the recent tragedy that we had in Chattanooga, Tennessee, where we had, uh, I believe it was four Marines and one sailor that were murdered by an Islamic extremist. And with this piece of shit president that we have right now, it took five days to raise, excuse me, to raise and lower the American flag at the White House, but yet it took him two hours to put rainbow color light bulbs all around that son of a bitch to celebrate gay marriage. And that really just fucking pisses me off. I'm sorry guys, I just had to get that out there for you. Because the reason why I'm saying this right now is at this point in history, in our nation's history, we must start banding together, sticking together, and instituting what's called civil disobedience and saying no to this government, saying no to this, this tyrannical big government leftist regime that we have in power. And so this is another reason why I'm doing this review because I believe that in the future we're gonna need the knowledge in order to take back this country by force. That's not a prophecy, but I, bl I believe it, it, it is a founded opinion based off a relevant history in the United States. So with that being said, and those political objectives out of the way, again, I want to redirect your attention to the review here. Basically, all you, all you do, obviously, this is the, the, the cylindrical uh, part of the suppressor. I'm not sure uh, how well you can see that here. It's just basically a, a threaded tube. And what you do is screw the end cap on here and just twist away until the threads catch. Obviously, I'm doing this in reverse order because sometimes it's a little tricky to get the baffles out of the uh, out of the tube. Again, you use the takedown tool, male and female parts. You twist until they're tight, and you start laying the suppressor tubes back in the barrel if they want to go. Sometimes it's a little trick. Now I'm not sure if these exhaust ports is what I'm going to call them. I'm not, I'm not sure if that's a, that, that's the correct terminology. This part right here, I'm not sure if they have to be lined up or not. I don't. I, don't, I want to say I don't think they need to be, because again, with the AR on on the bolt on the AR-15, is those those little silver dimes is what I want to call them. Uh, you don't ever want to thread them exactly, because it it it, it is just the, the the air pressure of of some kind. That's what we were taught when we were in the Marines. So I'm just gonna go ahead and slap these babies in there. And again, if you guys have some more knowledge, and uh, if I'm doing this incorrectly, please let me know. Um, you just take the baffles one after one after the other, 
You stick them in. Take the end cap, stick it in, like so. You take the end cap, and again you thread it on. This is clean. One thing I like about the suppressor is it disassembles. And uh, some of the suppressors on the markers don't do that. And uh, I don't like that because I like being able to have clean functioning firearms and parts of my accessories that I want to go ahead and uh, disassemble and take apart. So uh, basically with that said guys, is the end of the review. I want to go ahead and end with this. I want to keep it short and sweet to the point. I don't want to um, bore you guys to death with everything. But again, like I said, I wanted to come back at you with a, a review of the, uh, the simple suppressors. Uh, again, they're full auto rated, and uh, I have used these in the past. They work very well, and that's about it, guys. I'm going to go ahead and leave it at that, and I want you to always remember and remain behind every bloody grass.